Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for the ones who have been here before and welcome to the ones who have not. My name is Janae and I'm the owner of Confidently You Creations. Um, so for today's tutorial, um, it has been a request uh, multiple times for me to do a water slide tutorial. So um, today I'm going to show you guys how I do my water slides um, in this video I have multiple photos to put on a cup so you'll get to see me do this multiple times not just one time even though you could just rewind the video but um, I will link the water slide that I prefer I've used two different types of water slide papers and this one has been my all-time favorite I don't use any other um, water slide paper so I'll link that down in the description box for you guys um, if you use a laser or an inkjet printer there will be two different kinds linked down in the box depending on what type of printer you have um, other than that again everything that I use will be down in the description box and you might even find some coupon codes down there for you guys to check out um, and I think that is about it for the intro okay let's go ahead and get started <music> So as always, we have our um, fully prepped and sanded tumbler. I went ahead and spray painted it flat white from Rust-Oleum. I started filming this in the wrong orientation. So sorry, it is a little bit smaller than normal, but we're going to get back to our normal orientation right now. Okay, so I went ahead and epoxied this twice um, and we're going to go ahead and sand the rim now. Um, you always want to epoxy your tumbler twice it doesn't matter if you have glitter on it or not um, it's very important to um, do this step twice um, especially since it doesn't have glitter on it you want to at least make sure it has enough coats of epoxy to protect everything so you guys see me do this before as far as sanding the rim we are sanding the rim to expose a thin line of stainless steel therefore our final layers of epoxy have something to adhere to so then you're going to wash that and rinse it off um, with soap and water and apply some rubbing alcohol so now that we are back we have um, printed our our water slide images um, here are um, some of mine that I printed all right so we're going to put those on the cup my phone died I thought I was filming the whole time but I was not <laughs> so um, here we go I placed two on here already and I'm just placing them on here no rhyme or reason um, just doing a photo tumbler with 13 pictures okay so hot water works the best for water slides okay so you're going to put it in the water for um, just a few seconds until um, you feel it kind of moving off of the water slide not too long just uh, long enough so then once you put it on there you're going to gently slide it off with your finger and then use the back side i use the back side of the water slide to get the rest of the water from underneath the picture out of there some people use a squeegee but I just go ahead and use the back side of that because it has like a really um, glossy smooth side so I like to use that so we're gonna do it again here um, in real time just so you guys can see because I was kind of talking over the first one so I'll talk you through it doing it again okay so you're gonna put your image in the um, the warm water not hot but just like warm for just a few seconds here I think I probably did it for about 10 seconds and you're gonna flip it over to make sure you evenly um, get all the sides all right so then once you've dunked it in there you're going to just gently with your my left thumb I'm gently sliding it off therefore I can have a little leverage with my right hand to pull that water slide off of the back of it and boom there you go just do this until like even if you just want to practice with just um you know a dummy image or something um, before you actually put it on somebody's tumbler you're more than welcome to do that and then take the back side of that and just squeegee all of that water out okay so now i'm just going to kind of fast forward it 
um, because you've seen me do it twice but now you can kind of see it in a more faster motion here so just dunking it in there again taking that left thumb and um, getting it off of the water slide just a little bit and then using my right hand to gently pull it from the back while still holding it with my left thumb okay so you want to be very careful with these water slides um, this is I printed these from a laser printer when you print from a laser printer you do not have to seal them okay um, when you print from a inkjet printer though you will have to seal it and I recommend using Rust-Oleum's clear gloss sealer just how we use for our multicolored glitter tumblers you want to use a clear gloss sealer and spray your water slides at least three times um, I will link the um, water slides that I prefer down in the description box. I have not had any problems even when I used an inkjet printer and spraying them. I did not have a problem with them sliding off, okay? So, and if you don't have a printer, you don't have an inkjet printer or you don't have a laser printer, just buy some laser, buy the laser um, water slides from the link down below. And then you can just go to Office Depot and then you can just have them printed on the water slide for you. Um, therefore, you don't have to seal it. You know, some people don't like to seal their water slides. So you can always just go to Home Depot, take your water slide paper with you, have them print it and make sure you tell them to print it on the label settings um, because it is a thicker size paper. It's like A4. Um, and then you can go ahead and cut it and put it on your tumbler. That's a little cheat, you know, for you guys. Okay. Um, but anywho. I did have to cut some of these images because I did have to place four on this um, one area. So I recommend cutting them before, of, of course, cutting them before you dunk them in the water um, because it can get a little bit messy. <laughs> I ended up having to cut some on the cup too. Uh, just make sure your blade is really sharp if you do have to do it that way. You know, we all make a mistake. Something can be a little bit too big. Um, especially working with a whole bunch of images right um, so I did just take a sharp craft knife and just slice it um, across the bottom I mean you can see here I'm cutting um, this, this last image but still it wasn't enough room so as you can see me here just kind of moving some things around and um, I'm gonna use my craft knife to kind of cut the image in half here because it was a little bit too big so just be careful hold if you do have to do this just make sure you are holding that image and have a sharp craft knife okay um, and if you do have to move other things around um, just um, put some more water on the image really really good and then you know just slide it around as you need to all right so i'm just going to finish up this last image and then we're going to move on to the next part which is just kind of making sure the tumbler is nice and dry um i did have to go in and trim again another image because i want to put her name underneath her last picture which is our 12 month picture i did want to put her name underneath that so um i'll go ahead and finish kind of fixing my boo-boo here <laughs> and then we'll move on to just uh, making sure everything is nice and dry all right so i'm just going to use a paper towel and just damp it just very very lightly just um, damp the areas on the image and um, around the, the image to where you know you don't have any dried up water spots even though it will you know you won't see it once you place epoxy on it but we want to make sure you know we get the tumbler nice and dry let this sit either overnight or for a few hours because um, you don't want to move right into epoxying this because your images will slide and fold okay so let that dry and then we're going to epoxy this just once to where we can go ahead and place our decals so i did it um i placed my epoxy placed one coat of epoxy on top of this and i let it dry for um, 12 hours before i moved on to placing my decals all right so and we have lots of decals to place and we have her name there that's going to go in the bottom of her 12 month picture 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys a few of these, just placing it, no rhyme and reason, just kind of underneath the pictures. Um, and then I'm going to weed out um, those O's that you see there. I'm just going to weed those out on the cup. All right, you guys get the gist of it, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and remove um, those small little pieces, the B's, the O's, the E's. Um, and this cup was for a gentleman. Um, I did one before for his wife and then uh, he wanted one. <laughs> so um, that's why there's no glitter on this one. It was really hard not to add any glitter, but that's why we did not glitter this cup and that's why the video is a little bit shorter because we did not have to do really any, a lot of sanding or glittering. Um, so once you are done with uh, weeding out your small little areas, you're going to place two more coats of epoxy. Um, and I did end up sanding the rim again um, on this step after I finished um, to where, again, um, I wanted to make sure the last two coats of epoxy had something to adhere to. Um, and then I placed two final coats of epoxy on top of this. Okay. And here is a final result from our beautiful picture water slide tumbler with her name at the bottom she is so beautiful thank you guys so much again for staying to the end of this video um if you have any questions please feel free to put the comment in the comment section and i will answer you back follow us on social media at confidently you creations and don't forget to check out our website for our new vinyl collection um, we upload every friday so check back next week or you can just hit the subscribe button and you don't have to check back because it's going to notify you anyway. Okay, so <laughs> again, thanks guys. See you next week.